Eric Burgess here, and we've been told to simplify secant x over cosecant x plus cosecant x over secant x. It's usually a good idea to transform these things into just sines and cosines, and let's go ahead and do that. So secant x, that is going to be 1 over cosine x. So we're going to have 1 over cosine x over, and then we have cosecant x, which is 1 over sine x plus, and now we're going to have cosecant x, that is 1 over sine x, over secant x, it's going to be 1 over cosine x. Looking at this, we can rewrite these if we multiply the top and bottom by the reciprocals. We're going to wind up with sine x over cosine x, plus cosine x over sine x. If you'd like to see the middle step here, all I did was multiply by sine x to the top and bottom. And these are going to simplify, and we're left with sine x over cosine x. And I did the same thing for this one. We multiplied by cosine x to the top and bottom, cosine x. And these will simplify. We're going to wind up with cosine x over sine. And our motivation for choosing sine is so that it will specifically cancel out. I am choosing to multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom because I want to get rid of this complex fraction. So from here, we can turn these into tangents, right? This is simply tangent x sine over cosine plus cotangent x. And that is a, is a pretty simple form. Is it the simplest form? It might be, but it's a form I definitely would not mind working with. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos, and we'll catch you in the next problem.